today, I can tell you with certainty that after 18 years, Natalie's case, it's solved. As far as I'm concerned, it's over. It's over. Yaron Vandersloat is no longer the suspect in my daughter's murder. He is the killer. In the course of his felony prosecution, here for extortion and wire fraud indictment, he gave a proffer in which he finally confessed that he killed Natalie. He described when and how he killed her. And he said that after killing her on the beach in Aruba, he put her into the water. And that was the last that he ever saw her. That was all verified by a comprehensive and conductive, conclusive polygraph test. Even with this confession, though, he can't be tried here for Natalie's murder. But I'm satisfied knowing that he did it. He did it alone, and he disposed of her alone. I won't give you the details of his brutal confession. Those will be forthcoming when the proffer is made public. You will also have details of the plea agreement which was reached, his sentence of the extortion, and the wire fraud will run concurrently with a sentence in Peru for killing Stephanie Flores. And that's fine with me. Thanks to a lot of very smart and dedicated people here, I got the answer I've been searching for for the past 18 years. Yaron Vandersloat's confession means we have finally reached the end of our never-ending nightmare and for me, reaching the end of the nightmare, being over is better than closure. It's been 18 years since Natalie disappeared and Natalie would be 36 years old today. I still miss her every day. It's been a very long and painful journey, but we finally got the answers we've been searching for for all these years. We finally, today, we got justice for Natalie. So thank you all so very much and being supportive of us in our long 18-year journey. Thank you. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of NewsNation's fact-driven coverage.